testing testing hi guys welcome back to my channel good morning guys good morning good morning it's another day in the life of myra and yeah today i'm on my way to collect my new catap routine with my new name and i'm just giving you like an update it's so freaking early i don't know where this one is from but it's doing my skin a good justice it's doing my skin justice i'm waiting for my bus now i wanted to take uber before but i checked the bus and i said i see after so why should i waste times five of the money on uber when i can take the bus right and i get some stepping because i have to walk to the bus stop okay the bus is here so let's go collect my catap routine with my new name so yeah i'm going to of course sit down i'm going to sit down for that at the sleep and also tell you to get me into it very easy very simple see you guys hi guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl that's my way and if you're new to the channel thank you for subscribing we are trying to get to 500 subscribers and if you're an og coming back thank you so much for coming back and today's video i'm going to be telling you about how i changed my name at the trc office in poland if you're new to my channel i'm a youtuber based in poland and i share everything about my life in poland i love to travel i love to eat and that's basically what i document on my channel I also love beauty and fashion so you see a little bit of this and that on my channel but today i am just going to update you guys on how i um on how i changed my name at the katapobito office and i don't want this video to be too long i want it to be under 10 minutes or 10 minutes at the maximum so i recently got married and um in the part one of this video I changed my name. I decided to take my husband's name. So I recorded a video on how I renew my Nigerian passport with my new name. And now I'm doing a part two, like I promised, on how to change your name on your residence permit document here in Poland. So it's very useful for all my new brides, whoop whoop, uh, that are in Poland. And if even if you've gotten married a long time ago and you've not changed your name because you just haven't gotten around to do it, or uh, because you've just had the time or because you don't know how to do it well this is why i'm filming this video for you because i discovered that when i wanted to change my name i couldn't find any video online that could help me and even though i read some things on on, on their website it just would have been very helpful if i was able to watch a video because i'm just a visual learner and i can listen and watch how the person did it so that's what i'm here to demystify in this video i hope that you would um stay with me and um thank you so much let's get right into to the video <laughs> so how did i um change my name the first thing first is to obtain a new passport with your new uh surname so i already have a video on how to do that i will link it in the description box below so that you can watch that in case you don't know how to do it and they will not change your name as a foreigner if you don't have a new passport with your new name unfortunately i emailed them and they confirmed that this is how this is the only way they are going to change my name on my catapult office so before you try to change your name change your passport that's the first thing and the next thing after that it's an email to the trc office i'm going to put their um website and the email box in the description box below but i always just say to call or email them just to check if anything has changed because new laws are coming up in poland every single day and sometimes the process uh changes but when i did mine and i did this in 2023 um august or july yeah august i did i i applied for it in august and um that was when i changed it book an appointment and by email and the title of this uh email is going to be card replacement plus name and surname you can write it in english or you can write it in polish but i, I you can just write it in polish really but they will still reply to you because i all my emails are in english and they still reply to me so card replacement plus your name and your surname that should be the type of, that should be the title of the email to the office and then um you're going to um write them and ask them that you want to change your name actually sorry <laughs> 
so first you fill a completed booking form in that booking form you are supposed to put filling your information and i'm going to put a list of the information on the screen but it's basically your name your surname your date of your phone number your current uh, base of stay in poland which is by residence permit, temporary residence permit your citizenship that is pretty much what is in this form so once you fill this form then you write the email with the title card replacement your name and your surname and you attach this form and this is what they are going to use to make an appointment on your behalf so in my own case they sent me the appointment date i will put a screenshot below i believe that i can share that and they'll give you the date and they will also give you the time of your appointment now they will also send you a link to fill in the form online however this form was not up to date as i when i get when i got to the office which is very typical of catapult office to be very honest because all their forms online is never complete when you get to the office you always have to fill the form i don't know if it's only me that this happens to but even when i want to um, renew my res temporary residence permit and i print out your form online and i fill it and i get to the office i like oh something is missing oh that is missing you're sorry you have to fill it all over again so yeah that's what i did so if you have time you can also go to the office prior to just get the form there and fill it before your appointment date or you can just fill it on that day when you get there and the office is now very organized so you have a section where somebody can help you to fill the form in case you don't know what to fill and they have like uh, a help desk center as well so everything is really organized the first time i was going to add anxiety because of my previous ptsd from that office but right now it is much more organized since the war in ukraine and everything is just really because they have a lot of people that they are processing now and they cannot afford to waste time anyway let's get back into the video so that's the first step you fill the form then you email them the form with the title card replacement okay okay like i said don't worry i'm going to add the email uh, address in the description box or on the screen as i'm editing this video once you do that the next step is to make a payment for the new um card because they have to destroy the old card and give you a new card which costs a hundred zloty it's not expensive you have the you would have the account number as well you pay it i will put the link to the website where they put all this information step by step for you the account number is also there and you print out the payment confirmation from your bank so once you print this out this is part of the document that you take with you on that day the next step is for you to make a copy of your original marriage certificate now i got married in poland so my marriage certificate was already in polish but if your marriage certificate is not in polish you will need to first translate it and then make a copy of the original and the original translated copy so you have two photocopies but for me i got married in poland it was already in polish so i just made a copy of the original that i had with me so and i took it with me with my payment confirmation with my new passport that i just got and my old uh or well, my catapult with my old name i also took it along with me i also made a copy of both pages of the catapult along i i didn't really put it i didn't need it there but i printed it and i submitted it anyway don't worry um if they don't need it they will tell you that they don't need it but i think they took it if i remember clearly but anyway i just advise that you print it and you take it along with you it will not cost you anything okay okay and if you don't want to do it as well it's not a problem don't do it so like i mentioned before the form i filled online was not up to date i had to fill it at their office uh once again but because i had already filled the form uh, at home i it was faster for me to fill the form here because majority of the information that i had in the form that i printed online was also what i put in the form that i filled at their office so and the form is not some mysterious for me just again it's paperwork in poland you already know the vibe you put in your name again put in your surname put in your new name put in your date of birth and so on and so forth so it was not a complicated 
process at all and after you've gathered all these documents of course the next step is to appear on your appointment date and appear on time so when you get there they are going to give you a ticket number and to be honest it goes past it goes by really quickly because now they work strictly on appointment so it's not just um, people standing in line for no reason five ten minutes after five ten minutes they call your name you submit your documents and they give you a slip as a form of registration that you've come to register and you're waiting to receive your new catapult too. anyway that was it and literally it took it, I asked them and they said this was going to take two to three weeks, but I got my catapult at exactly a month. But let me explain, let me give you the time. So, my application date was on the 1st of August, and then I got the first test message that my catapult was ready, that my new TRC was ready on the 17th of August. So, I would say that's about two weeks when we are talking in terms of working this without weekend. And uh, however, when I got that text message, they asked me to log in to book an appointment by myself to collect this catapult too. Unfortunately, I couldn't book that. I couldn't find my name anytime I put my name. But what happened eventually was that the way my name was arranged was why I couldn't book the appointment by myself. So the iPhone, because my new last name is a compound name, so there's an iPhone between the first and the second name. There was they put the space, they put space in between either the first one or the last one there was just a space and this system couldn't find my catapult obitu for whatever reason but anyway what happened was that i emailed them and they made the appointment for me by themselves and because they were able to figure out what the mistake was and i was able to go and collect my catapult obitu on the 28th of august i believe or the 29th of august so that clip will be in the beginning of this video where i went to collect my new residence permit and guys that was it it was really easy it was really fast i just filled the form i went for my appointment i waited for the card to be ready and i got my new card and that was the end of it and the end date of the new card is going to be the end date of your old card so they don't extend it if your old card was going, is going to expire in two months your new card will expire in two months it's going to expire in one year it's expire in one year so it doesn't affect the end date of your card or anything it's just really a old card that was changed to your new name and that's pretty much it so thank you so much guys for watching my video i had to quickly film this video it's going up tomorrow i'm filming it on a saturday uploading it on a sunday because i'm just trying to be consistent guys please subscribe to my channel please like this video it helps youtube to push my video out there if you have any feedback for me on how i can improve my content or the kind of content that you love to see please 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 leave suggestion in the comment and i will be happy to film that kind of video that you'd like to see but until next time thank you so much and i will see you in my next video it's your girl that's my away bye bye